the Canadian cooking in the USA. Hey, and welcome back into my kitchen. The Stanley Cup playoffs are here. And today we are making a tribute to the four Canadian teams that are making their debut in the first round of playoffs this year. I have made a special dough and you can check the link below for all the details. I'm going to roll these out now on a light dusting of flour and make some very interesting desserts. Hmm. And I'm going to call these the Leafs, the Jets, the Canucks, and the Oilers. Oh boy, you are in for a treat. Maybe you might want to make these too. Maybe you might have a friend in mind that would like to make these and have an all out party. Maybe this might even catch on as a thing in Canada every playoffs. Boy, wouldn't that be fun? Wow, that'd be cool actually. Okay, so I have rolled out four beaver tail shapes. I'm going to now let these rest a little bit and proof as it's called. I've melted up also a little small amount of butter. So I'm going to use my fancy little uh, barbecue brush and just give these a nice little brush over before I put them in the oven. There. Once again, before these go in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, they're delicate. It's suggested to put them in a double tray, that is two trays, and on parchment paper. Keep a close eye on these. These might cook faster than 15 minutes, so just saying. Also, make sure if you have an oven that has a, a, a contact surface with a hot filament, you don't want this touching it. Just saying. Mm, these are hot out of the oven. They're golden brown. Now I just need to let them cool and rest before putting on the frostings. So I'm in blue now. To make the leaf rounders, these have cooled and we're going to start with a maple frosting to go on the bottom. So I'll blend this up. Here's our one and a half cup icing sugar and our two tablespoons milk, plus our two teaspoons of maple syrup in here. This will take a moment. I'll just blend this up. Maple syrup frosting. I'm going to put some on our little rounder next. Now you can always adjust your recipe, have it more maple to your taste preference. And to end, has to be maple for the maple leaves. Yum. This was a big beaver tail actually. <laughs> to make that beautiful blue color, to drizzle the leaves color, like they're all over the ice. They're totally swarming the opposition. We are going to need, or I'm going to be using berry jello. This is not only the color, it's going to give a nice complimentary flavor to that maple. So I'm just going to go ahead and make that up. Again, I'm going to be using three tablespoons of milk and four tablespoons and an eyeball if I need any more. Now this looks a little baby blue. So I'm just going to go ahead and add one drop of dark blue food color just to make it more of a Jersey color appearance. But the taste is there. This is just like a blueberry raspberry frosty that you would get at a 7-Eleven. That's one of my favorites. A little tip with the frosting. Because the gelatin jello mix has little crystals in it, I really want to have that dissolve. And I didn't want to dilute it in water to make the icing. 
So I'm working very quickly and I've used a little bit of milk extra. It's almost there, but you see how, how that is. This is going to be so good. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Drizzle on them, like a skating pattern, a frenzy skating pattern. Okay, this is still a little... And then for the topping. Now I was thinking originally Smarties, but you can't get Smarties in the United States. You can get M&Ms, that would be pretty too. But I'm gonna go with some party sprinkles. These are so pretty and they're fun. So I'm gonna sprinkle these on our leaves. Our, our leaf rounder. There, before the icing sets. That way they stick on there. Put on a few more. There's our leaf rounder. Go leaves go. Go leaves go. Go leaves go. All right. For the next tail of our rounders is going to be for the Jets. Shout out to anybody out there who's a Jets fan and already got their way and ready for street parties and, you know, gonna throw the white towels around and make all that noise. Well, this is for you. This beaver tail is going to be frosted with a blue berry or a berry blue raspberry. My favorite, you know those Slurpees, those blue Slurpees? It's going to taste like that, okay? So this is my vision. It's going to taste like a blue Slurpee. And then on the top, simulate clouds using Dream Whip topping. So clouds are going to go on topping, mixed with a little sprinkle of coconut flakes for a little added nutty taste. Now, if you're allergic to nuts, that might be an option you want to avoid. Just saying, just saying, this is so, uh, you know, out of possibilities here. For a party item, you could make these, maybe make them smaller, make cookies, whatever you would like. But this is what I envision for the Jets rounder. We'll make that next. From the blueberry used in the Toronto Leafs icing. So I'm going to just I added a little milk again to just re, re uh, liquid. I'm just going to put some on. The time I make the Dream Whip up, that'll be ready to put right on top. I'll go ahead and start doing that next. I'm going to make this just as directed. We'll blend this up. It'll take about three minutes or whatever. Just will take a while. We'll be right back. I'm going to make clouds and like swirl it around a little to make like a jet stream and all the other kind of themes you can think of for our team. I'm all it's getting warm in the kitchen so I'm have to work fast. So we're just going to put some on there. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Put lots on there. Yeah. Just like that. Right? So you can see the blue sky effect and the clouds. And last, optional, you could always put whatever you want on there. You could crumble up some Oreo cookies. I don't know, whatever you like. Smarties, M&Ms, Reese's Pieces. But you've got to think too about the flavor you like. I thought a little bit of a, a, something white and nutty on the top might give it a really good flavor. So I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle some. Uh, these are sweetened coconut flakes, but you can put whatever you like on it. Oops. I forgot to open this one. Right. So, whatever you plan for your party, this is what I'm going to have at mine. There we go. 
Oh yeah. And I call it a jet rounder for the playoffs. Now I'm going to put that in the fridge with the other one. So for our third beaver tail playoff idea, I was thinking, because I think a lot, something orange and something blue. So why not have a beaver tail with like a tang orange flavor on the bottom and then drizzled with my favorite Mr. Freezy flavor, Slurpee Fraser, the raspberry, berry, blueberry one, you know that, that one? So I still have some icing for that from the other beaver tails. And there's all that all over the top. And of course you can put whatever toppings you want on afterwards. You could put on party sprinkles, you could put on Smarties, M&Ms, I'm going to stick with uh, the coconut topping because it's just, it adds a little crunch and the Oilers are going to have to, well, get physical, so to speak, if they want to go on to the next round. So that's all I'm saying. Play fair, play well. Enough said, let's get this beaver tail started. So you will need three tablespoons of milk, four tablespoons of tang. I'm just going to pre-stir these so the crystals come out. Then add this icing sugar. It, again, it's one and a half cup icing sugar. And I'll just get this going and put it on the, on the tail. Okay. Before the icing sets, we're gonna frost our Oiler rounder. Woo. Oh boy. Of course, this is for the fans. Here we go, Oilers. Here we go. Ah, yes. Now, if that's not orange enough for you, you can always add food color, but I, I think that's almost pretty 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 wild to start with now i'm going to find the blueberry uh, icing and put that on next go ahead and put a little drizzle pattern on there like skating pattern or some kind of a, a little motif that looks pretty and still contrasts i don't want to blend that's that's pretty much solidified now the frosting is set so I hope it's not too hot. Ooh. You could spell the word Oilers or go Oilers go or some of, there we go. That's it. Yeah, I like the blue, the raspberry blue flavor. It's so delicious. And I'm just going to be plenty on there. There. Now, if it's not sweet enough for you, you could still sprinkle some, a light dusting of uh, powdered sugar on it. But I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm, again, the Oilers colors are orange, white, and blue. I'm going to sprinkle some coconut on there oh yeah you see isn't it pretty look what i made and i'm sharing it with you i hope you like this i hope you try this and do check out the link below how to make these you don't have to deep fry it a beaver tail when you can bake them oh i'm gonna put a little bit more on but still i can see See the uh, Euler colors underneath. There. And there we have it. The Euler Playoff Rounder. Here we go, Oilers. Here we go. Now I will make the last beaver tail. Okay. 
We're back, and I've changed shirts again. Our last beaver tail theme is for the Vancouver Canucks. And I have a special fridge magnet just for the occasion I wanted to share with you. Doing a orca or an orca pattern would be rather tricky to do. But the colors in this have given me the inspiration to make and choose what I've decided for the Vancouver Rounder Beaver Tail. So you are going to need berry blue icing once again for the ocean and the beautiful coast. Dream Whip because you get fog also on it's very humid there along the coastline. And being that many of the uh, cultural items and iconic images that are made that you can purchase at Stanley Park, for instance, incorporate the color black. How about licorice as a topping? So to recreate the ocean and the beautiful harbor that Vancouver boasts, I'm going to, it's this, this is the same one. I keep modifying it so I can produce a nice video for you. Yeah, beautiful, look at that. Next, some beautiful whipped cream. This is Dream Whip I made. I took it out of the fridge so it would stay nice. I just put some clouds on there. Everything in the kitchen is warm right now. They say do it big or go home. There, I'll just kind of fluff it up a little bit and add some licorice. Yum. There's three slices or three Twizzlers three Twizzlers and I use a pair of scissors and put them in the little, little little nibs, I guess is what they call it. Okay, so. And there you have it. The Vancouver or the Canuck rounder for playoffs. Yum. Mmm. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me in the kitchen. Until next time, do take care and enjoy the hockey game. Au revoir. Mmm. The Canuck, the Oiler, the Jets, and the Leafs. Good luck. Mmm, what are you having this playoff?